the journey of life is not easy. I think back where I came from. Sometimes I cry. Sometimes I laugh at some things. Sometimes I wonder, you know, life is not easy. Every successful person came from somewhere. Every person who has made it in life has got a story to tell. I, for once, as a single mom, when I divorced, life became something else. It became hell for me. I faced rejection from family and friends. I didn't know where to go, who to turn to, what to do. And I was that woman who depended so much on my husband. I never knew what it is to wake up and go to work. I only knew how to wake up and sweep the house, clean for my husband, iron. I never dreamed that one day I would wake up and everything would be gone. I thought, okay, this is me, the married woman in the house serving my husband. Marriage is something that uh, you have to pray about and not because it comes with a lot. I faced a lot in my own marriage. Um, painful experiences, worst experiences. Yeah, of course, I have my happy moments, which I cherish, and sometimes when I look back, I just smile and I laugh. But anyway, I'm not here to really tell you about the bad things. I'm here to tell you about the good things and things that happen after the bad things. I never knew that I would be here, sitting right here in a beautiful home, celebrating with my children, happily single, <laughs> you know, uh, single mothers are the most degraded and uh, unwanted people in the community. The reason being people think it was your choice. Some things can force you to become single even if you don't and you can lose your husband in the process, automatically you become single. You can lose um, your husband through fights and you end up divorcing, you end up being single because you cannot force, um, you cannot force love, you cannot force a marriage. So single moms are labeled as the most badest people in the community just because they live their marriages. But you know what? One thing you should, you should realize is nobody wants to get out of something uh, willingly like marriage. But circumstances can force you to just walk away or the husband will just leave you at the end of the day. You cannot force somebody to love you if they no longer do. What you can do is move on and maybe find, find uh, love elsewhere or find self-love for yourself, like myself. <laughs> um, you know, nobody wants to get out of a good thing, but uh, I still have those wounds, I cannot lie, but they are healing. Healing is a process. Whilst you work towards it, you will be healing. Whilst you let go other things, you will be healing. So I just want to tell you that, you know what? Your time is coming, it's not the end of the world. Nobody, nobody has the power over your life. Only God knows. Only God has the final say about your life. So I want to encourage you to work hard, focus on your gift, focus on your skill, focus on what you think you can do. Keep your mindset busy. Your first prior, your children, 
I'm always with my children. They inspire me. When I look at them, I see the reason for living. When I want to give them, I want to give up, I look at them and I feel like, no, I can't give up. Who is going to take care of them? Who is going to take care of them when I'm gone? All those things, they strengthen me every day of my life to think that I have those two people I have to take care of. So, Baranda Kanzi, make sure, put your chicken first. Everything comes after. Put your dreams first, your goals first, your achievements first. Then you sit at the end of the day. You actually laugh at yourself and, and say, what was I even crying for? The journey of life is not easy. But you make your life according to what you want. I love you. Yes. I've known my TT for quite some time. My TT is my business associate. Oh. I know her business wise. But to be honest with you, my TT is actually a very easygoing someone. She is a very, very nice person. You know, she's one person who is not jealous about other women. She empowers a lot of people a lot. You know, from the time I've known her, it's just been supporting, supporting. You know, she goes out of her way to help someone. Um, I think me, my titi, she really empowers me in a lot of ways. Um, my titi is one person whom you can approach and you tell her your problems, she will take your problems as her problems. And she will go out of her way to try and help you.